Welcome back to the Sandbox. I'm so happy you came by to play with me today. We're going to continue now with Camp Buddy. So, day two, we have met all of our friends here. Uh, Hunter, the quiet, nerdy, uh, bookish boy here. <laughs> Natsumi, the perfect scout at all times. You can tell by all the badges he wears. Yuichi, the tough guy. Uh, Hiro, my friend, who is... Has a lot of energy and likes to eat a lot. That's really all I know about him so far. Oh, and he worships me. Well, that's good. There's me, Katero. Here's Scoutmaster. And, uh, oh, this is Scoutmaster Yoshinori. And this is Ms. Yuri, who is also a Scoutmaster. And it's day two, so we're just kind of kicking things off here. And, uh, yeah, let's find out what uh, Scoutmaster Yoshinori's big, important announcement is. Yuri? Why don't you tell the boys about it? Ah, yes, of course. Tomorrow we'll be having an overnight camping trip at the nearby prairie. As your scoutmasters, we concluded it would be a fun first activity for Hero and Katero to experience the great outdoors of Camp Buddy. Aren't you all excited? We're going to learn about plenty of useful things regarding survival. We might even roast some marshmallows by the campfire. We want you all to prepare your camping gear and equipment for this activity. Make sure you finish preparing before sunset. We'll be checking everything you have packed for the trip. If you have any questions, I'll be in my office, kicking back, my feet up on my desk. Wow. Sounds, uh, yeah, fun, I guess. Another lame camping trip. Don't be like that, Yuichi. It'll be great. We get to scout new places. We might even see something you find interesting along the way. Yeah, like what? Poop and sticks? Yeah, count me out. Ah, don't listen to him, Natsumi. Katero and I think it'll be fun. Aw, uh, I wish everyone had the same enthusiasm as you two. Um, if staying in the camp is an option, can I stay here? Oh, not you too, Hunter. All of us are required to leave. We leave nobody behind. That's my personal fourth buddy law. Lame. I heard that, Yuichi. You were supposed to. Ugh. Anyway, Hunter, you can't be left behind. It's the Scoutmaster's orders. Okay, I'll be at the cabin then. Anyway... I will prepare my things early so that I can finish more tasks before sundown. You two should pack up as well. See you around. Oh, oh, hero. I'm so excited. I can't wait to hike through the woods. I've never done that before. You've never hiked through the woods? What kind of sheltered life have you lived? Think about all the things we could find while hiking. Oop and sticks. I should bring extra film for my camera. This is going to be so much fun. I'm more excited about the marshmallow part, but yeah, hiking sounds fun. Hero, don't you think about anything else besides food? Food is love. Food is life. Psst, hey. Hey. Oh, uh, Scoutmaster Yuri. Are you two somehow related? I noticed you two really get along with each other. This is going to sound ironic, but that is pretty rare here. Oh, uh, we aren't related, Miss Yuri. Katero is my best friend. Oh, best friends? How long have you guys known each other? Me and Katero grew up together. Oh? Yeah, ever since we were kids. And we both came from the same school and city. And I promise that I'll always be right by Katero's side forever. Forever? Hero, that's... That's really embarrassing. <laughs> but it's true. Bl uh, Miss Yuri, are, are you all right? Together? F forever? Huh? Wah! I just can't take it anymore. A bond between two best friends is just... Yeah! A 
bond that's been cultivating for such a long time. A bond stronger than any ordinary connection. Born from just being classmates, then slowly growing, developing into love. Until the day comes that someone steps up, collecting all his courage for one shining moment to confess. And both will run towards the sunset, holding each other's hands. You must be a couple, right? Right? Please tell me you're a couple. What? Did you just come up with that whole story just now? N no, Miss Yuri, it's not like that at all. No, I just can't accept that. You two have already been shipped together by my little fragile heart. W what? I'm already imagining all the things you two have done. My new OTP. Uh, OTP? So you guys are the typical childhood best friend setup, right? Tell me, do you share rooms? Have you taken baths together? Do you sleep with each other? Do you hug each other while sleeping? Have you actually tried? Yuri! S -S Scoutmaster Yoshi, Ms. Yuri is acting really weird. <sighs> this calls for a fanfic! Do you mind telling me specifically what type of bond you two share? Is it intimate? That's enough, Yuri. Wait, I haven't even seen them kiss yet! Just come with me, Yuri. I'll get something to calm you down. At least let me see them kiss, please! Yuri, no! Uh, if you two don't mind, I need to bring Yuri to the mess hall. She probably forgot to have her breakfast again. Wait! If you two aren't a couple, then you must already like someone else here in the camp! Yuichi has six-pack abs if you're into that. Oh, and Hunter is a foreigner. He's got that silent but cute factor. Or maybe you want a more handsome senpai type like Natsumi. That's enough, Yuri. You're giving me secondhand embarrassment. Kya! Wait, no! Wow. Wow, what a piece of work. <laughs> <laughs> fangirling over two people she's just met shipping them wow okay well she's going to be an interesting character going forward oh, what just happened I don't know either uh, let's just head back to the cabin and invite everyone to lunch good idea Katero Oh, Katero and Hiro. Hmm. Are you two okay? Um, depends on what you mean by okay. Miss Yuri kind of weirded us out there when you guys left. <laughs> I told you she was a wacko. Yoichi, don't be like that to Miss Yuri. What did she say to you two anyway? Uh, how do I say it? Uh, something about me and Hiro together being a couple. She even told us stuff like Natsumi being handsome and Hunter being cute and Yoichi having six-pack abs. <laughs> Scoutmaster Yuri is like that sometimes, pairing everyone with each other. She's kind of into that stuff. Quite an interesting hobby, isn't it? Are you kidding me? You actually enjoy those weird games of hers. I'd be lying if I said I don't. It's really fun seeing her like that. You just like it because she always calls you handsome. She called you muscular and hunter cute. She's always complimenting us all. I will take no part in this. God damn it! Where the hell did you come from? I, I was here the entire time. Uh... Uh, we're so sorry about that, Katero, Hero. On everyone's behalf, I apologize for acting so weird. <laughs> You're the weirdest among us, Mr. Perfect. Uh, no, no, not at all. I, I think you're all really fun and interesting. <laughs> you're really open-minded to almost everything, Katero. Anyway, we were here to invite everyone for lunch. Oh, but Scoutmaster Yoshi said we needed to finish preparing before sundown. I'll go ahead and prepare my stuff now. Uh, 
I'm so hungry already. Uh, Yoichi, Hunter, since you guys are here, why don't we all have lunch together? Can't. And speaking of lunch, I have stuff to do. I need to start preparing while Yoichi isn't around to bother me, too. I'm sorry, Keiro, but this is kind of a rare opportunity for me. I'll catch up at the mess hall later. Huh. If they don't want to have lunch with us, fine. They didn't have to make all those lame excuses. Aw. I've got you all to myself, and that's what matters. Oh, <laughs> Hero, man, you're a great friend. I love you, but not quite the way that I think you love me. Come on, Kato, let's go. Mmm, it smells good in here. I really wish we could have lunch with everyone. Huh? You're still thinking about that? Don't you want to spend your lunch with me? Uh, no, it's not like that. I just think it would have been more fun if they were all here with us. Oh, I see. Well, we still have a lot of days left here at the camp, so I'm sure we're bound to have lunch with them at some point. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. I'm sorry about that. Oh, look! Aren't those the Scoutmasters over at that table? Looks like Miss Yuri has finally calmed down, huh? Ah, uh, maybe we could have lunch with them instead. Huh? Are you serious? Wouldn't that be awkward? Miss Yuri might come up with another embarrassing fantasy about us two. Order up! Yikes! Katero, watch out! What? There's a naked man. Spilling things. Whoa! Oh crap, he slipped! He's going to fall over the Scoutmaster's table. Ah, uh, it's hot. Oh, dear. Gah. Oh, I'm sorry, Yoshi. This is quite a mess. I have a towel here. P please, let me clean that up for you. <gasps> no, no, Aiden, it's all right. You don't have to. Oh, brah, I'm sorry. It'll never happen again. It's really all right. More importantly, are you hurt? You tripped and landed face first. Why is he naked? <laughs> are we going to get to that? Are we going to talk about the elephant in the room? There's a naked man in a room full of young men. You shouldn't be coming. <laughs> you shouldn't be coming so fast when you're serving something hot. ba dum -bum. <laughs> coming S -s something hot oh god there she goes again oh i'm sorry yoshi i'll be more careful and gentle next time G gentle ah uh, is this milk you spilled on my pants i hope it won't stain a aiden's milk ah Please take it off so I can wash it immediately. I can't take it anymore. Just take me to paradise already. <laughs> and she faints. Thank God. See ya. What? Yuri, are you all right? Say something. It's all right, Aiden. She's probably just overwhelmed again. I'll take her to her cabin and get some new clothes for me as well. You can go back to work and be more careful next time, okay? And put some pants on. <laughs> ah! <laughs> there you go. I always think it's a sign of good writing when my the next line that I think of is actually the next line in the script. So, there you go. What What is he doing? He's striking a pose. A naked man is striking a pose in the middle of the cafeteria. Okay. Uh, okay. <sighs> I hope I don't get fired for this. Hey, mister, are you okay? What? Who? Oh, hello, you two. Uh, what can I do for ya? <laughs> uh, did I say something wrong? I, I was blocking your way. 
that's why you tripped. Oh, so it's your fault, huh? I'm really sorry. You know what I do to bad boys who mess with my work? He pinches Katero's cheeks. Which cheeks? On his face or, or on his... Ow! <laughs> it's not your fault at all, silly. It's just an accident, brah. And I should have been more careful. Wait a minute. You two don't look familiar to me at all. Oh, I think I know who you are. You must be the newly hired helpers. Whew, finally. I've been requesting a helper from Yoshi for quite some time now. Huh? Well, what? You can start by helping me chop some vegetables and fruits for tonight's menu. Uh, uh, wait a minute. We're not helpers. What? Then what are you? We're the new campers. We just joined yesterday. Oh, really? Hmm, that's odd. I thought we weren't allowed to... Uh, never mind. Anyway, welcome to Camp Buddy, dudes. How could you have mistaken us for helpers? Isn't it already obvious from our uniform? Oh, well, the staff's and campers' attire looks all the same to me. Whoever designed it is total bonkers. So, you're the chef of this camp? Ah, uh, yep. Aiden Flynn, at your service. Ah, it's a pleasure to meet both of you little bros, Hero and Katero. How did you know our names? It's written on our uniforms, Hero. Oh. I I'm sorry again about that accident, Sir Aiden. Is he a knight? Sir Aiden? Oh, is that... I wonder... So obviously this was, you might tell by the names, that this is originally written in Japanese. Sir Aiden, I wonder if that's a mistranslation of Mr. Mr. Aiden? I don't know. Sir is usually reserved for knights. <laughs> oh, Sir Aiden, eh? Oh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> um, you look troubled, little bro. Is something bothering you? I don't want to sound rude, but, uh, why the hell are you butt naked? Oh, you mean this? Yeah, that's that's what we mean. That's what we're talking about. I mean, I'm not complaining. Don't get the wrong idea. I'm just kind of wondering. It's a little weird for you to walk around in the mess hall completely naked. And do you prepare food like that? Because that seems unsanitary. Hey, don't lift it up. People are eating here. Hey, 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 little bro, don't judge me. Kitchen work is super hard, you know. Buying the ingredients, doing all the prep work, cooking multiple dishes, then serving it on time. Imagine doing all that work while you're in a cramped kitchen. You don't know how hot it gets in there, especially this summer season. Well, I gotta hand it to you. That is quite impressive. Oh, you think so? <laughs> well... If you understand, you must know your way around the kitchen. Oh, yes. Hero is an excellent cook, too. He always cooks me yummy food back at home. He makes the best pumpkin soup. Oh, Katero, stop it. You're embarrassing me. Oh, that's awesome, little dude. Where did you learn how to cook? Oh, my mother taught me most of the things I can cook. She even has her own recipe book that I still keep with me. Uh, wait a minute. If you're the cook here, don't tell me you're the one who cooked the feast last night. Ah, oh, yep, that was me. I just want to tell you it was super awesome. Everything on the table was just too glorious. Ah, oh, you're too kind. I always try my best to serve everyone the best dish I can cook. Ah, oh, it all makes sense now. No wonder Yoshi had me cook a lot of food yesterday. It was for your welcome party. Oh, I'm so sorry if I failed to properly greet you two yesterday. After cooking, I was too tired, and the next thing I knew, I dozed off inside the storage room. Hey, I just had an idea. Hero, little dude, you can come over every morning and help me with cooking if you want. I could teach you some of the recipes I know. And let me have a taste of your cooking as well. That sounds awesome. Sign me up. Ha 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 You're lucky to have a friend who knows how to cook, Katero. 
Anyway, I've got to clean up that mess. I need to get a mop and a bucket. I'm dead if Yoshi comes back here to see the floor still full of spilled chicken soup. If you little dudes want to get some lunch, just go over to the counter. Scoop yourselves anything you want. Oh, thank you, Sir Aiden. I'm sorry again for the trouble. Oh, don't mention it. See ya. All right, Katero, let's grab our lunch. I'm starving. Okay. And... Mmm, this is delicious! It's hard to believe that Sir Aiden cooked all that food for everyone just by himself. I know, right? He's got real skills! I still feel kind of guilty that he's the only one who had to clean up that spilled soup. I should have helped him out at least. Come to think of it, shouldn't someone else be in charge of cleaning? Hmm, he did mention something about new helpers. Hi, sorry if I'm late. Did I miss anything? Oh, hi, Natsumi. Uh, we just met Sir Aiden. Ah, that's right. I forgot to introduce you guys to him yesterday. He is always so busy. Sir Aiden is a helper here in Camp Buddy. We consider him one of the Scoutmaster's assistants, though. A, a helper? I thought he was the chef here. That's right, actually. Though cooking is just one of his tasks here. He's also in charge of maintenance, healthcare, gardening, and even physical education. Whoa, that's a lot. Are you sure we're talking about the same Aiden? I mean, he just told us that he does all the kitchen work by himself, and that job alone is supposed to take the entire day. I'm not sure how he manages to do everything. Even Scoutmaster Yoshi is concerned about how much he does here. He is one of my inspirations, though. Such a hard worker that all the scouts can look up to. And he's usually naked. He's amazing. When he lets us, we do help him from time to time. Well, now I feel kind of bad for him. Just look at this mess hall. It's so full of campers to feed. I can't imagine how he can keep up with all of his own work. Hey, is that Hunter? Why is he just standing there with his meal? Uh, maybe he's trying to find a table with a vacant seat. Hunter. Huh? We have a bit of space left over here. You want to sit with us? Oh. Uh, th thank you, Katero. I hope you don't mind me sharing the table with you guys. <laughs> no, it's totally fine. Here, sit beside me. There's a bigger space beside Natsumi. Come here, Hunter, darling. It's less cramped here. Um, okay. By the way, Katero, aren't you excited for tomorrow? Oh, I'm very excited. It's going to be our first time camping outdoors. I'm going to make sure that all my camera batteries are fully charged. I can take pictures of all sorts of stuff. Oh, you like photography, Katero? He loves it! So that's why Katero always brings his camera with him? I I think it's an interesting hobby. Well, th thank you. Do you have hobbies as well, Hunter? Well, I, I kind of like to read books. I, I also draw... Hey, Katero, show us some of the pictures you've taken so far. Oh, interesting. I'd love to see them as well. Ah, uh, well, I, I don't bring the photos around with me. I keep them all in my bag in the cabin. Isn't it a digital camera? Isn't it just on the card? Can't you just... All right, all right, maybe not. I don't know. Hey, new bloods. What you got there? Oh, Yoichi. We were just talking about Katero's camera. He grabs Katero's camera. All right, motherfucker. Hey, give that back to Katero. Jeez, Torchhead. I just want to take a look. Ask for permission first. It's kind of rude. It's a private matter. It's all right. You should ask for, for permission first, dude. I'm going to I'm gonna help you. I'm going to save you, Yoichi, if it's the last thing I do. Um, you can ask me if you want to take a look, Yoichi. Keitaro is right. You should have at least asked for Keitaro's permission first, Yoichi. 
Hey, shut up, Mr. Perfect. No one asked for your opinion. Uh, it's okay, Natsumi. Yoichi is our friend, too. I, I guess he can borrow it. Uh, stop being a sissy. Huh. Hey, how do you work this stupid camera anyway? <laughs> He's never seen a camera before. Oh, yeah, there aren't any cameras in the wild. Hey, shut up, Torchhead. I'm talking to Katero. Calm down, both of you. It's called an instant camera, Yoichi. It instantly prints out pictures you capture. Oh, it's a Polaroid. Here, I'll show you how to use it, Yoichi. You just have to point it at anything you want to snap a picture of, like this, and just press the button above to take a photo. <laughs> Stupid! <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, look, it's printing the picture already. So, it's that type of camera. What does that mean? Oh, I want to see! Ah, there's a nice shot of uh, Yoichi's eye. Haha, <laughs> you look funny here, Yoichi. Haha, <laughs> yeah, you look like a confused doofus. Hunter giggles. Hey! I hope you don't mind if I keep this, Yoichi. Huh? Why would you want to do that? Well, uh, film is expensive. Besides, it'll make such a nice addition to my collection. Sh sure. Uh, you do whatever you want to with it. I don't care. He does care. He totally does care. He's just... He's got that stupid facade, that tough guy facade that so many supposedly alpha males have. Oy. All right. <laughs> Unfortunately for today, playtime is over. You're going to have to come back next episode to see if we can finally break through that bullshit alpha male facade wall that Yoichi has up and really get to know who he is on the inside. Come on back. We'll see you next time right back here in the sandbox.